is my review of Kingsman The Golden Circle, which is directed by Matthew Vaughan. Manners maketh man. Okay, Kingsman The Golden Circle has an amazing uh, amount of actors in it, big stars. The original gang is back, Taron Egerton as Eggy. Skills. <laughs> Skipping rope. Colin Firth is back, Mark Strong is Merlin, and then there's the Statesman, Halle Berry, Channing Tatum, Jeff Bridges, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> and then there's the random Poppy Delavine who plays a pretty cool model type who Claire. And then there's also Julianne Moore who plays the big head bad named Poppy. Wait, I'm gonna show you. I know, that's weird, right? And then there's Elton John, you heard me right, who's playing Elton John. And that's not a bit part. Anyway, getting to the film. So I was really excited uh, about this sequel. I was a huge fan of the first one. I love Matthew Vaughan's work. And anyway, Kingsman the Golden Circle um, is out now everywhere and it is about a, um, a bad guy. My name is Poppy Adams, CEO of the Golden Circle. And this is Julianne Moore's character and she plays the the if you've seen Austin Powers, who plays that bad guy who has a bad guy cave in the middle of nowhere. And as if you've seen a trailer, you'll see what happens right at the beginning. She takes out the Kingsman headquarters. Say goodbye. And so this means that they have to team up with Statesman, which is the, the American's equivalent of the British Kingsman. Welcome to Statesman. And your American cousins. Julianne Moore, character Poppy, wants to... Um, wants to tax drugs and uh, so she tries to hold to ransom the Donald Trump-esque president in this film and uh, the Kingsmen and Statesmen have to come together and uh, save the day basically and that's you know it's your basic plot. And I personally love the first one because for me this is what I want Bond to be. Bond used to be uh, really fun. I enjoyed the Pierce Brosnan Bonds when there was the, the cool gadgets and you get a lot of that in this. There's a lot of cool gadgets like there were in the first. Um, I felt that this film definitely suffers from sequelism, from being the sequel. So they adding lots of big names like Jeff Bridges and Julianne Moore. Um, who are heavily underutilized in this. In fact, there's one particular character, I'm not going to say because it'll spoil anything, but they showed certain sequences in the trailer that aren't in the film or are the only bits of that person in the film, um, which begs me to question why even haven't? Is it just on name alone? And then there's um, what Hollywood seems to be doing is getting a famous singer, a person, so like Elton John, who plays Elton John in this film, is uh has more than a bit part he has he plays a person that's being kidnapped and uh he has quite a few lines and they do some he, he's made to do some singing and stuff or, or on the piano he does elton john stuff he has ridiculous outfits and um, every time you see julianne moore's character there is a bit with elton john's character and at one point, Elton John, um, I know this is a bit of a spoiler, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the film's like. He does a flying kick. Um, I don't know if you've seen Elton John. He's an amazing artist. He's brilliant at what he does. But I don't know why Hollywood is doing this. Pirates of the Caribbean did it with Paul McCartney as their singer in their film and the, this seems to be a very Hollywood type thing to do to that they seem to do formulas one thing that works well that might have worked well once in one film you know get that cameo star has now progressed into let's get famous singers and so Elton John was in this doing uh, having film lines action sequences piano bits and for me it was really bad Elton John is great as as a singer but not an actor and I don't know why his character's in there, why he's written in that. For me, that really took me out of the movie a bit. Um, I was quite taken back by that. I thought Julianne Moore was really underutilized um, and that the scripting for her was really weak. I know she can do amazing, amazing things. And if you've seen the trailer, you'll know that a major character is back um, in this film, Colin Firth, it's it's in their posters, it's in their advertising, it's everywhere. And then they acted like it was a spoiler in the film. 
that uh, well more of a surprise in the film so that when the, he arrived um, he was like oh here he is and he has to go through some stuff to become the man he was in uh, the first Kingsman and for me unfortunately this seemed to lose some of the chemistry that Eggy um, and Colin Firth had in the first film and so what what this ends up being is a kind of funny action film Hollywood type great stunts well performed um, there were there were some amazing transitions um, some brave camera shots but ultimately it lacked heart and that's what I loved about the first one the the fish out of water story um, this one didn't seem to have have that and it also just had so many amazing characters on the outskirts but they were never really drawn in together well um, I'm honestly quite disappointed with this film I was expecting this to be great I know that sequels are really hard to follow especially if their predecessor was brilliant I think Guardians of the Galaxy shows that Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was brilliant Guardians of the Galaxy 2 wasn't as good and that's just because it's hard to reach that bar when you set the bar that high it's really hard to get that high again so I'm not saying that this film is bad it's fun but it definitely doesn't have the heart of the first one and I would say that the um the storyline is really quite meh and it has weird things like Elton John in it and um, ultimately I kind of could have skipped the story and I'm looking forward to the next chapter of what they will do. Let's get started. Um, because of the ending of this second one. So I I like what he does. So he, uh, Vince Vaughn is great at filmmaking and he ended the first one really well and you're like, oh, I'm really hoping to see what they do in the second one. And now they've done that same thing. It's kind of like a teaser for the third one. Unfortunately, I just don't think the sequel is very good. So I'm going to put it in the meh. meh. It's watchable, but not necessarily needed to go and watch it um, at the cinema. So... Uh, that's my review. Thanks for watching this Ruby Tuesday uh, review. We've got loads more reviews coming out. Do subscribe to us if you haven't. Welcome if you're a first time viewer and welcome if you're a regular viewer. We love to chat with you guys in the comments. So please do like, comment and subscribe and, and one of the team will be there commenting away and replying to you guys. Thanks for watching.